Visiting with Hewell Hauser is made possible through a generous grant from the Ralph M. Parsons Foundation. Well, hello everybody, I'm Hewell Hauser, and here we are on a beautiful sunny Monday afternoon down in the city of Orange, and we have come here to spend the afternoon with an honest to goodness living legend. Now, for those of you who know about hot rods, especially about paint jobs on hot rods, you already know this man, Stan Betts, who is really known not only uh, in our country, but all over our world uh, as the foremost authority on uh, this type of uh, paint and, and paint matching and paint duplication for hot rods. Here he is right on the cover of this month's Custom Classic Trucks Automobile uh, uh, Magazine. This is one of your hot rod paint jobs right on the cover, isn't it, Stan? Yeah, yes, it is. Well, give us a little bit of history about how you got started, how long you've been here, and then we want to take a close-up look at what you do, because regardless of whether you're interested in hot rods or not, what you do is fascinating. It would be to anybody. Yes. Uh, we started in 1957 in a little hole-in-the-wall shop that uh, we, we started with the $800 mixing machine and uh, we always followed the, the hot rod field. Mm -hmm. So uh, we, we, uh, we serviced them and then it grew a little more and then we serviced the body shops. Then we also got into the, uh, the new cars, the future cars made the colors for the future cars that that were uh, on the, on the drawing board uh, two years ahead of time so major car manufacturers would come to you asking you to come up with these colors, colors. for their new cars that's correct and you would basically just mix up the colors and come up with when I look at this one over here this is a heck of a color what color would you call this now that that is candy yellow. Candy yellow. That now, is that your name for it? Uh, no. Uh, actually, there was a fella back in uh, 1950 that started the candy process, which it, it has a pearl underbase. Look at this toy. Look at the color that comes. It just pops right out. It looks like candy. Yeah, it does. <laughs> there's, there's a pearl base underneath. And then there's a transparent yellow put over the top. And that gives the bright effect. And that's been around since the 50s, this color. The 50s. What color would you call this blue? I'm sure it has a, a name too. Now, the, the blue is, is just a flag blue, which it is solid color. It, it's nothing special. Well, it looks but, pretty good. Well, it, it sets off the yellow. What about down here? Now, I know this isn't your uh, run-of-the-mill ordinary blue. Uh, this, this here, uh, uh, we just played around to where it showed nice on a small car like this. This was a Shirley Temple movie car. Uh, you mean Shirley Temple actually was in a movie in this car? Yes, uh-huh, in 1934. Wow. Is this part of a personal collection you've got, or? Yes, it goes in with my uh, movie miniatures. Oh yeah, we're gonna get to that in just a minute. Let's finish looking down here. What in the world is this? Now, uh, this is a 1932 Ford pickup that is all handmade. There, Henry Ford didn't have anything to do with this one. But we, we tried to copy the 32 Ford, only glorify it. 1932? 1932. It says right in the, the grill bars wow. there. And what color is this? And that, this is a uh, raspberry, per, <laughs> raspberry pearl. But again, when you get in tight on it with the sun reflecting on it, it has almost a fluorescent color to it, doesn't it? Yeah, this, this has pearl in the color. Boy, it's a beautiful car. Yeah. Down here we've got, I can't even imagine what you call this color right here. Uh, now that's a mint uh, turquoise. A mint turquoise? Yes. And tell us about the car. Now the car 
was originally a, a Corvette. It has the Corvette doors and, and the windshield and the floor pan. And then we grafted the 46 Ford Fenders onto it. Now, what will, will somebody be driving this out on the street? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. We, we use it on Sunday uh, for little cruises. Oh, this is your car? Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, this one's so, mine. What about this one down here? Uh, that's my wife's car. Oh, <laughs> look at this one. Your wife drives around in that? Oh, yes. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's a beaut. Yeah, she, she likes that one. That and car it, but, definitely makes a statement, doesn't it? Well, uh, the top comes off, and she has the top off in the summertime. And, and everywhere uh, you look here in this lot, even this car that just drove up over here, oh look yeah. at this color combination of the purple top and uh, the gray body. Now, are you working on this car? Does yes. this belong to somebody? Or? He's getting the, all the body work done, and we're going to make him a color. So, uh, uh, to match the top, that'll that'll uh, that'll go with the top. So this color. is a work in progress, right here. Yes, it is. So a person would drive their car in and say, kind of tell you what they want, and then you go to work on coming up with the color. Yes, and, and usually they're they're right working with me, mm -hmm. and we work on it till they're satisfied with the the color. Now let's show people exactly how you do that because. Well, number one, you can see that we've got about 20 colors on your overalls right there, oh, painter's yes. pants. Yeah. That comes from a day's work? That's correct. <laughs> <laughs> well, I better stand back while you're mixing because I don't want to get all that. Oh, look at all this. Look at all this paint. This looks like an, uh, a work of art out here on the pavement. Just yeah, what's, uh... this is uh, about 25 years of color. <laughs> <laughs> well, show us how you do it now. You sit okay. out here. This is the way it actually works. Okay. We're going we're gonna to make the color like the 32 pickup. So now what color is that you're putting now in there? Now this here is a blue shade magenta. Mm-hmm. So you put a little magenta in there. Yes. And then uh, to make the color sparkle, we use a, a white mica. Okay. Now how do you know how much to... Well, what we do is um, we stir it up. Now that's still kind of the same color. And uh, see the reflection? Oh yeah, that's beautiful. Uh-huh. And then we we take a card like this here. And we uh, we we dab it on to the card. And, and that's it, what you send off to the... And then we uh, put it against the... Uh, now we're making the, the pickup color. So we put that right against uh, the color. To see if it matches exactly. To see if it matches. Now this is really well, a lot harder than it looks, isn't it? Because it, it, well, it's something it, you've kind of uh, crafted over the years so that you do it Yes, uh, you know, it's just like any uh, profession. It usually takes eight years to really be what's, what you want to be, mm -hmm. yeah, no matter what, what type of work that you do. And color has to be exact. It has to be exact or it doesn't look, you know, it's not passable. What is this behind you? What is this little... Uh, uh... Oh, this... Uh, this this is my wife uh, made that up for my birthday and then that's just a shade oh i got you for the summertime i got you i thought it was another piece of art back here well no she just made that up and it has rollers on we roll it in and out and it's just a shade so basically you work out here in the natural light in the natural because light. you need natural light to shine on these colors to give you the exactness that you need exactly yeah exactly well as interesting as this is 
Uh, we really didn't come down here to talk about this. This has just been kind of an added bonus. Uh -huh. We came down here to talk to you about something you've got across the parking lot over here, yes. which has to be one of the most interesting and unique and unusual and historic collections that I have ever seen in my entire life. And that's where we're going next on this adventure down here with Stan. Now this is interesting. We've picked up an entourage back here, Stan. Who are all these people? I hope they're not all your employees because nobody's working. <laughs> nobody's working. <laughs> these, are all, these are all your employees here? Some of them are employees, uh, some of them are customers, and some of them are friends. And family, because this and is your family. wife. She this showed is my up. Wife. Boy, I love your car. <laughs> oh, thank you. Boy, thank I you. I hear you put the top down and cruise all over Orange that's County it. That, in that thing. That's California. Boy, now you get some looks in that car, don't you? Well, yeah, not just at the car, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> now, who, who works for Stan? Tell me what it's like to work for this man. Wow, it's just a great pleasure to fetch his colors and bring them out to him and uh, watch him add a little of this and that. And he says, he says, boy, jump up and go get me the red gold. And, uh, and the I, red gold? Yep, the red gold seems to be the one that caps a lot of colors up. It gives that little age look to so him. So he really knows his colors. Oh yeah, he's a genius. He can match any color, uh, any car, just a matter of minutes with a, by eye. He's a automatic computer. He's very, very handy when, you, when you're doing an auto body restoration or a custom car to have him match that old paint just exactly yeah. so you can make it look like brand new, like nothing ever happened. And now you were nodding in agreement with that. Yeah, yeah, I have to agree with everything he says. You work here? I do. I'm the operations manager here, but Stan, Stan, I swear, is one of the most unique guys I've ever met in my life. In he's got, what way? He's got a positive attitude about everything and he just always got a smile on his face, and the, the guy knows his stuff. I mean, he just he knows colors like there's no tomorrow. Well, this is a happy place, and it's a colorful place, and I think we've gotten enough testimonials, fellas. I hate I would go around and get happy, good things from everybody, but eventually somebody has to go back to work. Come on over with us, though, to our next destination, because... This really is interesting. Oh, look at this. This is a nice one. Yeah, that's the... Did you, uh, did you that, repaint this color on this one? Uh, we probably did about a year ago. This, this has been uh, running on the road for about a year. Wow, this is a beautiful car. Come on, let's get your dog up here too. Yeah, we... Pumpkin. 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 Look at the size of this dog. The only bad thing about the dog, uh, she's so ferocious <laughs> that you don't want to get too close to her because she might just eat you up. She's a great dog. Come on, Pumpkin. We've got a whole, whole group going here. Uh, it is a good place to work, isn't it? Oh, we, uh, we enjoy every day. Yeah. We really do. Well, you're and doing that's something. that's what life's all about. Sure. All right, it's much fun. I've already said this once before. As much fun as we've had up to now, we're getting ready for a real treat now as we go inside this building right over here and check out Stan's collection of little cars that you have to see to believe. Now, Stan, this is something the likes of which I've never seen before. Explain to everybody just exactly what is in this whole room and this is a perfect example of it right here. Yes, uh, th these miniatures are made right in the studio shops and uh, to their specifications. And a lot of them are for trick shots. We, we have a WC Fields car over here that we'll show you that, you know, they did a lot of tricks with the car. Uh, so wait well, a minute, these were models made by movie studios. Movie studios. To use in movies for, all, for some of their trick. Like if a car is going off a cliff, it's not really a car, it's one of these little models. A little model. And if a ship, this one right here, a two-mast ship from the 1946 movie Mrs. Parkinson starring Greer Garson and Walter Pigeon, yeah. this would have been in the movie looking like a real ship out and That's, probably floating in a little uh, piece of water that they created there in the studio. Yeah, and actually, uh, it was actually pulled 
with this here ring. They just pulled it through the water. Wow. And uh, look at this. How do you get hold of something like this? Well, in 1946, I went to a, a MGM auction and I, I, I bought three pieces. And you mean that, they had this for sale? Yeah, this was for sale. Wow, this is this and is I, a piece of not only a piece of memorabilia, but it's a piece of art. It really is. Let's look now, over here at some of the other things, because now we're getting into the cars. Yes. These were cars that were used the same way in movies. That, yeah, that's correct. Uh, this this movie this car this car here was from an Elvis Presley movie, uh, Speedway. And, and this here was from The Great Dictator with Charlie Chaplin. Oh my gosh, look at this. Yeah, that's a beautiful model. How in the world did you get hold of that? Oh, uh, you know, different people uh, collected them like I did. And when they you know, would get broke, when they'd have to make a balloon payment on something, they would come over and ask if I'd like to buy it. Oh, that because is, they are really scarce. That is you a pure. You don't find them. Now, wait a minute. What is going on over here? Oh, that, that is uh, from Moby Dick. And uh, that was a 1941 movie. They made one in 1956, and they made a current one also. But and this was but in this, the movie, like off in the distance, to look like guys rowing a boat. That's right. And, wow. you, and if you look, you can see the mechanism of how it does work. Oh, look in here at the chain. Yes. So they built these little things to scale. Oh, and yes. And in the movies, they would look large. They would look life-size. They really would. Oh, look over here from a Clark Gable movie. Oh, yes. Clark Gable and Barbara Stanwyck to please a lady. And here That's are correct. your race cars out here. Yes. Now, Clark Gable drove the 17 car. Right here. See in that uh, picture uh -huh. there? Uh-huh. That's the car he drove, the Mike Branham Special. So yeah. this, again, was an optical illusion, the way they would use this to make this look like a large uh, uh, car that was the real size. That's right. They would. Wow. Some of them would, they all would roll over. Look crash. over here, Joan Crawford. Oh, this is in Mildred Pierce? Yes, uh-huh. Now, yeah. how would they have used this little car in Mildred Pierce? Now, this, this, uh, this car here is a 1936 Ford, and it, it went over into the ditch, and it rolled over in the movie. Now. So, it looks like it's in pretty good condition, though. Yeah, and also it's made out of wood. So when it rolled over... Actually, uh, th that's why they, uh, they, they made the underneath side look like a real car. Uh-huh, so when it rolled over, it would... Oh. It would show like a real car underneath also. Ha! <laughs> oh, my gosh. What is this thing over here? Oh, that's a submarine from the Great Race with uh, Tony Curtis and Jack Lemmon. Oh my gosh, look at this. Isn't that a cutie? Wow, this is great. Yeah. And that was actually in the movie. All of this stuff was oh, yeah. actually in the movie. Oh, yes. Now see, this is a, that, a picture, that is a of, picture it. of it in the movie in the movie under underwater underwater wow well i don't know it looks uh, to me uh, like you've got connections somewhere to get hold of all these things actually uh, this this uh, submarine was never in the water there was an aquarium in front of it with fish in the aquarium and they and shot through the water shot through the water oh that my picture God. now look at this what is this train up here on the what is this? Uh, you know, we, we just acquired that, and we really haven't, we haven't done it, a lot of research on it. But it but, was in a movie, probably, looking well, like a train going down the tracks. We, we called Warner Brothers, 
And what they said, they said, well, we're looking for that train. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't know you had it. No. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> well, they'll be coming to see you. I think so. Look over here. We got another little bit of collection here. Yeah, these, a, a these, steamroller. An the, ambulance. Uh -huh. A tractor. Tractor. And look at this old bus over here. Now, this yeah. bus has seen better days. Yeah, now take a look at that. The that Wayward is. Bus, John Steinbeck's The Wayward Bus, starring Joan Collins, Jane Mansfield, and Dan Daly. That's correct. And look at this picture. There is Jane Mansfield being carried out of The Wayward Bus. Now, that's a real bus they've got in that that's shot. That's correct. But they would have used this for what, a long shot? or uh, a The trick trick shots of it stuck in the mud. It does have a motor and the back wheels turn. Wow. And this is so interesting. Look at this one over here. Fellas, you're in here because you kind of help him with this collection. Yeah. Well, how did you, how did, how did you find out about all this stuff? Stan's my third cousin, so we're related. And I've seen it all my life, all the stuff that he's had. So he asked me if I wanted to help him out, and I said, sure. Well, growing up as a kid, yeah. these things must have been fascinating yeah. for you to see as a kid. Yeah, they were. We'd always come down and say, if we can go upstairs and look at all this good stuff that he had up in the rafters upstairs. Yeah, now he's got it on display. Do people know this is here? Do they come in oh, and look at it? Oh, yes. When people come down to get their paint for their a hot rod and Stan's match, and Stan always loves to take them upstairs to show them the toy box with all these movie miniatures, it's really become a trademark of some of the fun of coming down to buy your paint and see the miniatures and really have a friendly hand help you with your color. And, and these, these toys are just been a part for 20 years of the experience of coming here when you come to get your paint. Wow, this is great. Stan, this is great. Thank you very much. This is amazing. You still got some work to do on this one oh, over we, here. We sure do. So you get them in all shapes, sizes, conditions. Yeah. Uh, they're not necessarily, some of them have, uh, have, have, have been used in the movies so that they're kind of torn up and you oh, have to yeah. restore them. Others are in, are in good condition. That's correct. But uh, most of them need a lot of work because they're 50 and 60 years old. Do they yeah. still use models like this in no. cars? They do everything digitally now, don't they? They do. They do. And also, uh, they, they might wreck uh, 10 large cars. Well, you know, they don't even bother with the little models they anymore. They don't even bother with the little models anymore. Well, so that makes this even more of an important piece of Hollywood car history. Uh, because they don't do this anymore. That's correct. That's correct. Well, there are probably not many of them left, and you've probably got most of those that are left. Uh, I think I do. <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations. Thank you for showing us your collection. Thank, uh, thank you for showing us what you do and what yeah. you have done so well for so many years. We started the program by saying that you were a living legend uh, a man known literally around the world for your expertise. Um, so not only are you into the paints, but you're into these wonderful little cars. It's been a good life, hasn't it? Oh yes, I enjoy every day. You know, and that's, that's what we're supposed to do, is enjoy every day. Absolutely, and we've enjoyed our visit with you down here in the city of Orange. Stan, okay. go put on some clean pants. I think I will. <laughs> <laughs> We were getting ready to pack up and leave. These fellas came over and introduced themselves to us. Your name again? Julian Gonzalez. And? David Gonzalez. And what is it you were telling us about when we really ought to be here? Saturday mornings, it's, we all come in, we just hang out. It's called the board meeting. And then after that, we start working every, on everything. We start working on all the projects, everything. Now, how did you find out about this place? My old auto shop teacher from high school, Hardy Allen. Your auto shop teacher yeah. brought you down here initially years ago. Yep, like two or three years ago. And now people just come by and hang out, especially on Saturdays, just doing what? Working on their cars? No, we work on his projects, all the movie props. All the movie props? Yeah. So he's got you doing that as yeah. well. And we work on other things. We mix paint. I'll just hang out. 
it's like a fun time. Just for the fun of it, or does he pay you? Just for the fun of it. <laughs> so this is just something to do for fun. Yeah, I just like came like a couple times ago. I'm like the new guy, I guess. And what's it like? It's fun. It's like just better than being home alone at home. Yeah, yeah. And look, talk about having fun. Look at her. She's got. She's gotten in her car. I think you have as much fun as anybody in these things. Yep, I do. But now I do. your car's the purple one. What are you doing in here? Well, this is my latest model. Uh huh. So I took her over. All right. Well, let's. Are you gonna drive out yeah. in this thing? Yeah. Okay, we're ready. Don't try and show off and wreck it now. Oh God, I'd die. <laughs> <laughs> I'd keep driving. I wouldn't stop. <laughs> Stand. Oh my gosh. Oh, and look at Pumpkin chasing it. <laughs> Boy, we've had fun. And Good. I'm beginning to Good. get the feeling, even though this isn't Saturday morning with all the people crowded around, uh -huh. about how much fun this place really is. It really is. We have fun every day. We really do. Yeah, me and the dog and all, all our friends here. <laughs> Watch it. Here she comes. She's backing up. She's coming back for seconds. <laughs> And here's our entourage over here that just keeps getting bigger and bigger. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. We really are leaving this time. No Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Here, he, here she is, Troy. <laughs> Off she goes. Bye, Troy. <laughs> what a day. Visiting with Huell Hauser is made possible through a generous grant from the Ralph M. Parsons Foundation.